Welcome everyone. In today's video, you're going to learn the only five tools that you need to organize your business. Now there are a lot of tools out there that you can choose from and it can be a real time suck trying each and every one to see what's a good fit for your business. You can use this video to discover the best ones and all of the tools that I'm sharing with you are free. So that's a great bonus. I want you to do two things during this live stream. So the first thing is I want you to share it because sharing is caring. So just hit that share button below, share it to your Facebook page, group or wherever it is you want to share it to. And the second thing that I want you to do is to comment and interact with me because it would be no fun if there was no interaction. So comment below and let's have a conversation. So let's dive in to the five tools that you'll need to organize your business. The first one that I want to talk to you about is Wave Apps. Now Wave is a free bookkeeping and invoicing tool and the pros are that, like I said before, it's free and it's super, super easy to use. Um, another pro is that you can add your accountant really easily, all of the reports that you need, such as your profit and loss report and absolutely ever, every other report that you need for tax season. Everything is in there. I have tried a lot of accounting tools over the last six years. I've tried QuickBooks, um, Xero, I've tried so many and Wave has always been my favourite and it's the free one. So that has always baffled me that it's free and yet it beats all of these other apps that I've tried. So I really recommend trying Wave out. The cons, however, are that as far as I know, you can only invoice clients in your own currency and the other con is that you can no longer import transactions automatically from Stripe. You have to import them manually. Now, I personally don't think that those two things are that big of a deal. So I've still stuck with Wave because I love it that much. Um, I really strongly recommend it to you. It has all the features that you need. And like I said, it's free. And what I also suggest to you is to create a monthly bookkeeping day. So go ahead and sign up to Wave Apps. I'm going to be linking to all of the tools that I talk about in this Facebook Live um, straight away after I've finished it. So go ahead and sign up for Wave Apps. And what I want you to do is do what I do and have a monthly bookkeeping day. So on the same day every month, what you'll do is you will dedicate like one hour or two hours to bookkeeping on that day. So you'll just open up Wave on that day. You will import all of your receipts for the month and you will verify all of your transactions for the month. So that's basically what that means is like inside of Wave, you have to just tell it that, yeah, these transactions have definitely happened and you can go ahead and um, make sure that those go into my income reports. Um, so you'll do that, you'll import your receipts and you will just check your income and expenses, which is something that I like to do every month, just to make sure that I know what money is coming in and out of my business. And then you are done. And what that does is it helps you to avoid this crazy frantic chaos that so many freelancers are going through at the moment because tax season has arrived and if you haven't been doing this regularly every month, then you get to the end of the year where you just suddenly freak out because you've got like hundreds of receipts that you need to get in order and maybe you've lost some and it's all just really crazy. If that's you, by the way, give me a hell yes in the comments. I would, um, I'd love to see how many of you do that because it's definitely something that I did when I first started my business. And then I started implementing my monthly bookkeeping day and it was so much better. And I have literally no stress when tax season comes. So something I really strongly recommend to you guys. Yeah, Christina says, yeah, tax season. Oh my days, it is just the worst. But honestly, if you implement a bookkeeping day, it will save you a world of trouble. And what it also does is make sure that it keeps you on track towards your income goals. So it's something that I've really, really enjoyed implementing in my business. And I really hope that it will help you too, Christina. So let me move on to tool number two. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about the Wave apps or the bookkeeping day that I talked about. Tool number two is Calendly. And what I want you to do here is 
stop sending back and forth emails with clients to choose a date for a consultation that you'll have with them. Have you ever been in that situation where you're just sending like 10 to 12 emails back and forth with the client, both of you suggesting dates and times and both of you disagreeing and it takes so much time and energy just to find a date that works for you both. So the solution to this is to use an online scheduler like Calendly and how it works is basically you send your client the link to your Calendly calendar and then the client just clicks the link, it shows them the dates and the times that you're available, they choose one, fill in their details and then Calendly automatically can import that information into both of your calendars. So it takes all of the hard work out of it for you completely. And there's another tool that I really like as well called Acuity Scheduling that does the same thing. But let's just stick to Calendly in um, this Facebook Live. So the pros of Calendly is that it is super, super simple. I'm talking like the stupidest of people could use this. So it is such a, sim a simple tool to use. And there's also a free plan that you can use. So you don't even have to pay for this tool monthly if you haven't got the budget for it. Um, the cons of Calendly are that it only, the free plan only allows you one event type. So by event type, I mean like, um, I have event types like one-on-one -on -one coaching call or I have an event type called coffee chats. Um, so it only allows you to choose one event type, but if you are pretty new to business, you probably only need one event type, which is client consultations. And the other con to Calendly is that there are no customizable notifications on the free plan. So there are if you pay for the plans, but if you have the free plan, you can't customize the notifications. But again, I don't think that those two things are big deals, depending on your business, your business size and what you need this kind of tool for. So we've got tool number three, which is hello sign. And what I want you to do here is stop sending clients contracts to print, sign, scan and send back to you. Because what that does is make your clients jump through hoops to get booked in your schedule. And you don't wanna make clients do that. What you want is for the process of clients inquiring about your services to book in your services to be as small as possible. You don't wanna be making them like do extra steps along the way to get to the end point. Now, Hello Sign lets you send contracts electronically. So what happens is um, when a potential client wants to book themselves in your in your schedule, what you'll do is you'll send them the contract from Hello Sign. It will allow them to sign the contract right from their inbox so they don't have to print it or anything like that. They can just click a couple of buttons and sign that contract. And then Hello Sign sends you both the finalized copy of that contract. That is how simple it is and how simple it makes that process of sending contracts. Um, the con of the free plan on HelloSign is that there are only, I think you can only, only send, let me start again, I'm tongue tied there. You can only send three documents per month. But for a lot of you, that is enough because most of you only book one to three clients per month. Um, so I think that's still okay for you, the free plan. Okay, tool number four, which is my, you guys know I talk about this tool all the time because I love it that much. Um, the next tool is called Asana and it's a free project management tool that you can use for free with up to 15 team members, which I don't know about you, but I do not have to 15 team members and I never want to have 15 team members. So I think you're pretty safe with the free plan for a long time unless Asana changes that. Now, in case any of you don't know, a project management tool is a um, secure space online where you can handle your entire project with the client. So you can communicate with the client, you can send feedback, files, and um, you can do all sorts of great stuff. So no more hundreds of emails in dozens of threads, no more lost feedback, or no more confusion about what revision you're on, because I know that was a serious problem for me when I was like, managing my projects in emails, I would always get confused about which revision round I was on. And I would end up actually giving them like four revision rounds when my package only included two. So um, yeah, Amber says, love Asana. Asana is such a great tool. The pros of Asana are you can do things like set client reminders 
and assign tasks to your clients. So for example, if getting feedback from your clients is one of the struggle points for you in your business, what you can do is you can assign a feedback task to your client. And that way Asana automatically reminds them when their feedback is due and it will keep reminding them with email reminders um, until that task has been checked off of the list, basically. Um, and other pros of Asana are you can create recurring tasks and um, you can have unlimited clients. Honestly, I could go on about it for a long time because I like it that much. <laughs> the cons are pretty much none that I can think of, to be honest. That's why it is my favorite free project management tool. And um, for those of you who don't know, I have a free course that teaches you how to use Asana if you are interested. So just go to nishawillery.com forward slash Asana course. Laura says, I started to use Asana after your last live video and I love it. I'm scheduling all those little tasks that I have to do for my own business and is working it. Yes, I know. I use Asana to like manage my um, my entire day, which I'm sure most people have seen in my last Facebook live. So I'm really glad that you were able, Laura, to, um, to implement that into your own business. So yes, yeah, so let's move on guys to the final tool in this roundup of five free tools that you can use to organize your business. And that tool is G Suite. So G Suite is basically Gmail, Google Docs, Google Calendar, and Google Drive for your business. And the reason I recommend this is because I see a lot of people, um, especially those who are taking my course, this is where I got this information from. Um, a lot of them are using Apple Mail for the business email. And the reason that I think that Gmail is better than that is because of the simple fact that it is easier to give team members access to Gmail than it is to Apple Mail. You may not have a team now, you may not have a virtual assistant now, guarantee that if your business keeps growing, you will eventually have one. And what you do not want to happen is you don't want to get to that point where you're suddenly hiring team members and you've got to also implement all these different tools because these team members can't work with the ones that you're currently using. Um, and also it helps because some of your team members may not have an Apple device and most people just know how to use Gmail. So it just makes sense, makes, makes way more sense to me to use Gmail for your business. Plus there is the added benefit of all of the other great things that come with G Suite. Like you can create a professional email address right from within G Suite. So instead of having like nishawillery at gmail.com, my email address is hi at nishadesigns.com. So there are lots of great, great features to G Suite. There's also Google Drive as well, which I cannot like miss out because you can send um, your clients, your files to Google Drive if you wanted to. It's, it's exactly the same as Dropbox for those of you who don't know. So let me know you guys, if you've got any questions, put them into the chat box because we've just come to the end of the five free tools that you can use to organize your business. Those are the only five that you need, really. Those are the necessities. If you wanna keep it really simple, just stick with those five tools and you'll be totally fine. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat box. Any questions at all about organizing your business, I'm here to answer them. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoy it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up.